Okay. Here goes nothing. Welcome back, everybody, to Pacific Drive. I am the Bearded OG, and we're going to pick up uh, pretty much right where we left off in the last episode. Um, I have, I, I did save the game and log out of the game, and they came back into it later and noticed that uh, this car here is, once again, uh, re... Uh, maybe not, actually. No, I guess it hasn't. I guess it hasn't reset. It just kind of looked like it from afar. Um, so, yeah, how about this? Has this done anything new? Oh, yeah, that has. Okay. So I guess that resets when you log out of the game. We got some putty here and some wire. Good. Um, so, yeah, we're pretty much going to pick up right where we left off uh, from the last episode and uh, continue on. Before we get started, though, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. And if you find yourself enjoying it, please uh, take a moment to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you've already subscribed, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. And, um, yeah, cool. <laughs> okay, let's get going here. Uh, so let's see. First thing it wants us to do is craft an impact hammer. Uh, so let's go over here and do that. There we go. Okay, and then break open the back room doors with an impact hammer. We need to go into here and put uh, the impact hammer in our hands and go into here. What? I guess I didn't let it uh, go far enough. Okay, so that opens those doors. Assemble an antenna with the fabrication station in the back room. Okay, so this is the fabrication station. Let's take a look at it. Um. Okay, so stable, unstable, corrupt. Very interesting. Uh, all right, so we have... Stable energy, uh, so I believe this is the extra energy that we brought back with us after we went through the gate. And uh, this is the garage. The, the cursor gets kind of weird inside of this menu. It doesn't flow as smoothly as it normally does. Um, this is refine survival tools, lights, car body. That's where we can get it up to steel panel. Wheels, off-road tires, all-terrain tires, puncture-proof tires, okay. Oh, uh, whoops. Expansion racks, so probably for more storage, I guess. Oh, well, no, that's storage, so what, what, what do we use these for? Allows the mounting of an additional piece of equipment on the side of a car, okay. So, like, more mod kinds of things, I guess. Um, so this is actually car storage here, a trunk in the trunk. Extra large roof storage, augmented trunk storage, cool. Fuel, fuel efficiency, battery, utilities, jumping jacks, ion shields, mobile workbenches. Thought we already had that, but maybe it makes it better for some reason. Magnetic bumper, the Lazarus device. Using broad spectrum limb wave analysis, this device will dump all of its energy to rescue and reconstitute you at your moment of greatest peril, theoretically. You'll still be in one piece. Dare you test it? Interesting. Okay. Um, different engines. So we got a turbo light em engine, an amp engine, and a limb chipped engine. And there's more. Garage. No, I think that brings us back to where we were. Okay. All right. So it wants us to make the antenna thingy. Um... I'm not, uh, I, I think this is like, oh, we need a hand vac too. But I, I think because we're, you know, sort of kind of in uh, tutorial mode at the moment, we have to, we have to do this. So, but we want to get one of those because we needed it for something. I can't remember. Oh, for the sodium lights. Okay. So how do we know which one of these gives us the antenna? It's probably back here at garage. Okay. Uh, matter deconstructor. 
Uh, here we go. Scanning antenna. There we go. Okay. So we need two available by slot by category. Fa Fabra station. We have a crafting mat. We have all of the materials that we need and the energy. So, yeah, let's do it. I guess we, yeah, we just need one of four limb energies. Warning hands only. There we go. Okay. Install the antenna on the roof. Okay. Ah, okay. Looks like there's a way to get up there. I was going to say, how do we get up there? <laughs> uh, wait, what? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh! Now that's what I call an antenna. Antenna signals coming through loud and clear. Give it a moment to initialize. All right. Car maintenance. That's cool, man. All right, neat. I like it. Got our antenna installed. Get the handbrake from the back room storage locker. We got a handbrake. Fantastic. Um, here, let's put you down here. I guess we can just put it in our hands, right? Okay. Install the handbrake in the engine bay. Wait, what? In the engine bay? trunk before heading back out you'll need the space is the handbrake in the car now I don't see a handbrake where's my handbrake damn it <laughs> um, oh we have to assign it to one of these thingies oh okay uh, use the screen on the left side of the dashboard to assign car abilities okay um, how about F? Oh, wait, okay. Uh, abilities equipped, change ability, clear ability. Okay, let's press F. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Oh, I got you. Okay. So, right there. Skid on demand. Select a new ability. Replace current ability. There we go. Okay, so the F key is now our handbrake. All right, nice. We can do some uh, some peel, not peel outs, but uh, fishtails with it. Uh, okay, check the thingy for more stuff. Yeah, if he wants to give me more stuff, I'll take more stuff. We like stuff. We're all about stuff. This is all just basic stuff. But what's this? Tra uh, transfer trunk. And we're patched. Everything's in working shape, more or less. I've hooked up the antenna to the route planner. Give it a look after you're done peeping through my garage. Um. So it said transfer trunk. Does that mean we... Put everything in the trunk in here and then transfer it over to here probably right oh yeah okay I get it except for this is our spare tire so we want to actually keep this with us in the trunk all right so I guess we just right click and keep that down there and we'll use it later uh, as needed find your way to town all right so we have um I've refueled and recharged the battery on this uh, th this shows that the car is in really good condition, except for quirks. Uh, there, it does need a little bit of topping off. 
Um, so let's see here. That one's good. That one's good. This one just needs a tiny bit of topping off. That one's good. This one needs a little bit. So it doesn't tell you, even if the car's got very minor damage, it doesn't tell you that. Kind of wish that it would, just so you knew, without having to look at everything, but whatever. We'll get the headlight here. What about this light? Yep. It all needs a little, a little TLC here. Uh, let's make some more repair putty. I'm going to make a couple of those. So like I said in the first episode, if we take good care of our car, it'll take care of us. At least for now, until it takes over our mind. But I guess we'll worry about that when the time comes. Or maybe we won't, because our mind will be taken over. I don't know. What choice do we have, though, right? We just gotta do what we gotta do here. Okay, so I think everything is indeed 100% now, which is great. I'm going to keep this putty in here, and we got some wiring, let's just move this into here. So we got, we got a lot of stuff here, copper wire, there we go, um, yeah, tons of stuff for crafting. I wish we had a thing where we could sort this, you know, so grouped all the like stuff together and all that sort of thing, but uh, I'm not seeing that as an option. Okay, we have a couple of logbook entries. Let's take a quick look at those. Tools installation kit. This is a brand new part of your garage just waiting to be installed. What's the holdup? Uh, okay. For fabrication station. This is where the real engineering gets done. The fabrication station will allow you to unlock a host of new technologies that will help you upgrade both your auto shop and your car. Scanning antenna cobbled together using equipment from Oppie's vault and scavenged, uh, scavenged spare parts. This will sweep the zone to detect pockets of stability. Right on. Okay, before we take off again, um, Oppie's pneumatube. What? In out. Huh. Okay, I guess we use that. To send like a pneumatic tube somewhere, well, like at the bank. What's this? Oh my goodness, it picks up everything off the ground. That's funny. Okay. So, when would we use that though? I mean, what would be the point of me dropping all my shit on the ground for it to suck it up in here just so I would pick it all up again and put it away? Uh, I'm not sure. Is there anything else in here? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. We got a hand vac thingy. Yeah, let's take that. Whoops. Um, we got some rubber here. What is this? This is a crude panel and a crude bumper. We don't need either one of those things. What I would be inclined to do, though, is break them down. Um, okay, yeah. Because, I mean, we can make this if we need if we needed another one, which we don't. So we might as well get the parts from it, right? And same thing with the bumper. I hit the right mouse button and drop the thing. Okay, good. So, we've got some more putty here. Some more canned food and some screws. Excellent. So, I guess that takes care of everything in this new area of the shop here. Is this something we can, uh, or someplace we can go into as well? Let's get our 
Impact hammer. No, I think we're going to probably need a keypad or something. Let's try one more time just for the hell of it. Nope. <laughs> okay. That is uh, mega secured. Very good. Uh, all right. So let's take this extra putty with us since we can... Oh, we can't stack it. Okay. So we'll keep this at home then. Um, let's move this over to here, this over to here. We'll put this down there. Transfer all the rest of that over. We, uh, we need to use the hand vac thingamadoodle on sodium lights. And, um, tools. Hand vac. Using most of the same basic principles as a domestic vacuum cleaner, though without any regard for safety constraints, this device allows for the swift collection of just about any solid or semi-solid substance. It will try to suck up anything small it's pointed towards. Okay. Um, Oppie's pneumatube. Uh, the pneumatube, also known as the tubes, span the zone. A low-tech, low-maintenance method of communication and delivery. They've endured in a place where so many advanced alternatives have not. Okay, so we can send a pneumatube, like, all the way across the Olympic Peninsula? Right. Okay, video games. <laughs> What's the point of inventing all these new technologies if you can't use them to spruce things up a little. Here's a tidier future. Okay. Yeah, I still don't quite get the practical purpose of the of the vacuum cleaner, but whatever. Maybe it'll it'll become apparent to us um, at some point in the future. Okay, let's close that. And I think we're ready to set out. Car's in tip-top condition. I don't know what these quirks mean, but maybe that'll become apparent to us later. Ready to make this remnant verification a one and done thing? Uh, I'm sending you to visit Colossal Cappy. If that old anomaly doesn't induce electromagnetic resonance in your car, then we're free from Tobias's fever dreams and we can get you out of here. With that antenna fixed, you can now detect stabilized road junctions in the outer zone. You've got a stable route heading straight to Cappy's front door, but the energy readings are off the roof. I advise you not to take the zone lightly. You better gear up or you may not survive the trip. Which would make my life easier, so... Your call. Um, okay, so... How do I know which one of these is the Cappy place? Oh. Blistering Woods. Damp Forest. Wait. Okay, and this is called The Downs, and it's got rabbits there, too. Remember, they were saying something about rabbits in the last episode. I'm a little nervous because I have seen Monty Python. Sierra, unknown, 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 unknown. Uh, so how are we supposed to know which one's Cappy? Oh, I guess it's, I guess it's the one that has the the thingy with it. Okay. Okay, that's where we're going. Okay, are we ready to do this? Um, I think... Aren't we supposed to have... Oh, yeah, if we look on the left-hand side, it tells us everything we should have. Um, so we need a battery jumper. Didn't... Did we not make that? Maybe we... Maybe we didn't make that. Okay, so let's go battery jumper. Right... It's raining. Um, also, this shed opened up, and it, it looks like it has some kind of big-ass generator in it. But there's nothing, there's nothing I can do with it right at the moment. It's just open, so I guess this will become apparent to us later on uh, what its purpose is. Oh, these came back. Let's get the parts off of them. Kind of like a constant supply of electronics and stuff for us. Do you have anything else in you? Nope, it's done giving us shit for now. 
Okay. We'll stick that stuff, uh, put that stuff rather away, and I think we're good to go. Do I want to look at this one more time first, though? A matter deconstructor. Energy efficient, economical, and probable, and probably even ethical. The matter deconstructor will recycle car components in seconds. So do be careful not to get your hand caught in the suspension matrix. Okay. Um. So, to do this, we need gears. And we have three more energy things. Okay, yeah, before we take off, what does this do? Uh, tungsten filament encased within a glass sh uh, shell of inert gas. Contemporary incandescent lamps are so energy inefficient that they produce more heat than light. Okay, so I guess if it's red, it, that means we, we can't do it yet for whatever reason. Maybe we haven't, either don't have enough stuff to do it or we haven't uh, researched whatever we need. Survival tools. Okay, we know the vac. This is... Where does it tell me what the name of these things are? Oh, right, right here. Okay, so this is a liberator. Less precise than a cutting tool, the liberator will nevertheless cleanly and carefully remove individual sections of a vehicle by precisely placing small explosive charges. Wow. Okay, what's this? An anchor radar. This enormous energy, the enormous energy that anchors generate gives off an unmistakable unique signature that could easily be detected with the right equipment, and this is that equipment. All right. This is a magnetic hammer. Since it was first held aloft, the magnificent magnetic hammer has been the ultimate symbol of power and might. Smash the environment into submission. Claim what is rightfully yours. Okay, we can't do that. Until we get an advanced workbench. Um, I wonder higher tier crafting bench required. Why isn't that red though? I don't know. Okay, that's a, a plasma scrapper. Probably this just makes scrapping more quick. Quick. Thirty-eight piercing damage per second. Sixteen hundred durability. Oh yeah. It, so yeah, it's faster and more durable. Gotcha. Okay. This is a, uh, how many breachers does it take to change a light bulb? We're about to find out. A light replacement kit. Okay, I mean, I could spend hours looking at this stuff, and I, I will kind of look it over more off camera, but I think these get, allow us to research better wheels. Summer tire. Because, see, right now, I don't think we can ma make a tire until we research this. Car storage would be good. Uh, fuel efficiency would be would be good. Battery would be good. What about the engine? What does this do? This is a turbo light engine, an eight-cylinder custom-crafted powerhouse boasting a turbocharged a turbocharger, electronic multi-point injection, improved compression ratios, and a stainless steel man exhaust manifold. But we are missing. We have to research steel sheet to do that. Um. Okay. I like the idea of more car storage. We have to unlock a side rack? Okay, hold on. Side rack. Research steel sheet. Okay, where where do we do steel sheet at? That's probably right here. Yeah. We have to first research the bulb. Uh, okay, hold on. Whoop. There we go. Okay, so now we know how to make a light bulb. Now, if we go back to uh, here, steel sheet, basic workbench fabric. It's going to take a little bit of energy, but we need, uh, here we go. We need that for other things. Okay, so we've researched steel sheet. Nice. Now, um, let's go back to this car thingy. Uh, so we can't do the storage until we do the side rack. So let's go. Uh, side rack here. Confirm. This is kind of fun, man. I'm liking this. Alright, so we can put this on our vehicle. Uh, I think. 
Where do we put it? We should be able to put it on the side because it's a side rack. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, that's just like armor, I think. Okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Okay, now can we go back to here and do the first car storage? Side storage. Uh, yeah, we can. Okay, that's a blueprint. So we'll make that later. We have 1.6 stable energy left. Um, we can't do either one of those. We need, oh, we need unstable energy for, for these. I don't even know how we get that yet. So fuel tank, battery. Uh, okay, let's go back here for a second. <coughs> We can learn the hand vac in order to then get uh, the plasma scrapper. Is that what we want to do, though? Uh, I think so. Maybe. What does this do? That's a light replacement kit. What is this? A blowtorch. Olympium torch. Electrician's kit. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't, I'd like to get the plasma scrapper. So let's learn the hand vac. Even though we already have one. Okay, and then we'll look at this again. We have 0.7 energy net left. So to get this, yeah, we're not going to be able to get that until we figure out how we get unstable energy. Okay, that's probably good enough for now. So we definitely learned some new things, which is cool. And yeah. I think we're good to go. Okay, let's close this. We got everything on. Yeah, our checklist has disappeared on the left, which means we've gotten everything. Uh, we're fully healed up. We've got full fuel. The car is in perfect condition. Uh, we've charged up the battery, so let's do this. Oops. And if we press F, we got a parking brake. Very nice. Okay, off on to the next adventure. Find your way to town, it says. I still wish it would let us just drive to these places. Okay, so this is perpetual stability. There's low fuel, high cars, maximum houses. I don't know what, what this means. Oh, mining, maybe? I didn't know there was mining in this game. Low radiation, what is this? Uh, that's storm. If we look back in the logbook for a second, well, we got a new thingy anyways. Uh, where is it? Utilities. Side rack. Weld a sturdy rack to the side of your vehicle, and you might just be able to add an attachment there. And yes, this will be extremely inelegant. <laughs> uh, inventory reinvented. A little extra trunk space never hurt anyone. And there's no reason that space has to actually be in the trunk. Guaranteed zone proof for at least 10 minutes. Did I... F I forgot to do this. Doc on it. <laughs> Can't take me anywhere. Son of a beech nut. Ah, okay. Well, it's I I don't think we can back back out now. I think we'll just have to deal with it and then we'll do it when we get back. Um refine a tungsten filament in case with a glass shell contemporary. Yeah, we already read that. Okay. Well, what I wanted to do though is zone conditions. Wasn't there something that showed us a legend of what all that shit meant? Okay, none of that does. Resources. I don't even know what that means. Perpetual stability. Uh, 
what is this? This is a trip report. I guess that's... Yeah, this is like a summary of our last trip that we made. Okay. All right, well, somewhere I saw a legend that explained what this stuff means. And, I, you know, that's obviously radiation in storms, fuel, cars, houses, um, whatever the hell that thingy is. Resources, maybe. Not sure what the caution thing means. And I'm not sure what the spiral thing means, but I guess we'll figure that out when the time comes. Uh, okay, so um, let's go. Wait, what? Um, it's not going. I'm pressing the mouse button and it's not going. Did I just screw something up? Uh... Okay. Right mouse button to travel. I'm... Or, sorry, left mouse button. I'm holding down left mouse button and it's not doing anything. V to toggle legend. Oh, here we go! Okay, that's atmospheric shifts and this is anomaly density. Fuel, vehicle, building, resource. Okay, cool. That's how we figure that out. Okay, that's nice, but I can't freaking... Can I go here instead? Okay, I guess we'll go to this junction first. You know, going back here is actually not a bad thing because we can get those sodium vapor lamps. But that's all I'm planning on getting. Wait. This doesn't look like the same... Uh, entry to this junction is before. All right, where the hell? This is definitely a different place. I thought we just went to the other place. Um, so does that mean we just drive to the out zone here, and then we then we can go to another place? The remnants. Let's see what this is about. Oh, you know what my favorite remnant was? The record player. You remember Francis? See, you play records normally, but then every now and then you hear weird voices. Like that one time it was my fifth grade lunch lady. Uh, this again. You know, the sooner I get this out of my system, the sooner you can have some peace and quiet. <sighs> Fine. Hey, I had a girl. Oh, boy. Hey, driver, listen. Of all the legends, of all the stories that have spawned in the zone, <laughs> trust me, there are so many. Remnants? One of the best. I'll start from the beginning. <clears throat> in 1964, strange objects began appearing throughout the zone. They were uh, shabby, cast-off things that were imbued with strange properties. Uh, a broken microwave that froze food instead of warming it. A rusty can of paint that produced every color in existence. Always so out of place that people were irresistibly drawn to them. Yeah, you know, like a mysterious car in the forest, right? Yeah. I'm not planning on doing anything this zone. I want to just get to the zone that we need to actually get to for this mission. At least that's the theory. go again. Tobias mentioned that the remnants bind themselves to people, like the cars done with you, and how that led to obsession. These obsessions always started innocently, a, a sudden interest in model train sets or collecting old road signs. The objects themselves would exhibit anomalous properties, but what didn't in the zone, right? That in itself wasn't cause for alarm. But these fixations would only grow worse, until its victims could think of nothing else but the remnant. And they always cool. visit spiraling into madness and disappearing in a mad chase after something. Sorry, driver, it doesn't sound fun, but better to know what you're up against. Could the remnant's victims still be out there somewhere? I mean, we never heard from them again, but it doesn't mean they all died, right? If the madness didn't kill them, then the zone did. Is that gonna hurt? Anyway, it's been 20 years since the last remnant sighting. We thought they were long gone. Until you found the car. Okay, yeah, this does hurt a little bit. Not super bad. Let's grab this. Here comes the reverse potholes. Uh, 
Wait a minute, where the hell did my car go? Oh, it's over here. This is kind of bad right in through here. Okay, we need to get we need to get the hell out of here, man. This is not good. I was gonna go get some more of those plasma Jenny things over there, but I think we need to get out of here. weird it didn't hurt us too much I wonder if this guy's gonna mess with us yep he is I don't think we can outrun these guys oh maybe we can't nope Dirty rat. Okay. He messed up our right front panel. We can fix it later, though. Alright, so I think... Wait a minute, can we, can we, do we have to, do we have to do the warp thing or can we just drive to the junction and then go to a new one? Uh, what the hell? Did you guys just see that? Okay. I don't like that. Right, can we just drive through here and then go to a new... Oh, we can. Okay, good. Whew. Okay, that answers that question. I think it, the game creates a save point when we go into a junction as well. Uh, so this is where we're supposed to go. There we go. Saw blades that travel across the ground. Yeah. That's weird. Junction E1 Serum Town Center. Damp Forest Outer Zone. God, Serum. Never wanted to think about this place ever again. Head to a town. Colossal Cappy is smack dab in the middle of where Serum used to be. You can't miss it. Uh, drive to the scenic overlook to get a view. Okay. Um, let's go into here for a minute. And we'll mark that. We could maybe stop and grab that too along the way. Except for it looks like it's kind of steep downhill. Um, let's press Z to turn our lights on. Uh, is there a reason you're driving straight towards the largest honking anomaly in the zone? Um, you wanted to know if there's a speck of remnant energy in that car? This is how you do it. You're using Cappy to amplify the remnant signal. That's insane. Mm, why is that insane? Okay, let's stop here for just a second. There's a, a thing down here, but that is really steep. I think it's over there. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure we can get back up that hill, so let's let's not do this. Um. Whoops. Hey, can we get in the back seat of our own car? Yeah, it doesn't let us. Should not have left the 
lights on with the car not running. It's going to run our battery down. Um. Driver, are you sure about this? Ah, that'll be fine. It's not fine. Look at those radiation spikes that Colossal Cappy's still giving off after all these years. Colossal Cappy. To achieve any sort of resonance, the driver's going to have to get right up against Cappy. I get you, Francis, but Oppie's got a point. Any remnant energy lingering in the car is too weak to detect with conventional methods. Really? You're gonna take her side? This isn't about sides. That's a good plan. I won't risk someone's life just so we can <laughs> log another remnant sighting. The driver can make their own decision. I'm not forcing them to do anything. For all I care, they can lay down and wait until the instability takes them. That would get them out of my hair much faster than all of these shenanigans. Uh, oh, you know what? I think I, I've been busy listening to these guys yapping, and I didn't go to the, the overlook. I still don't trust those mannequins. Alright, so that's the thing we're going towards. And this is the overlook. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Nice overlook. Look at it. Look at the cars. What is that noise? Look at the cars floating up in the air that, down there. That's crazy. Okay. I know there's a lot of stuff I could be salvaging, but I'm kind of... What I'm probably going to do, just FYI, is... Oops, wrong button. Probably not going to do a lot of salvaging on camera. Um, I'll probably, you know, spend some time in the game off camera doing salvaging. Just because, I mean, how much of that do you guys want to actually see, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I enjoy it. I, I like it myself, but um, I don't imagine that's real entertaining for the majority of you. here for some um, plasma. That's the thing we got to go towards. That's not unnerving. Keep doing that. <laughs> Turning the car off before I switch all the way over to the thing. Okay, so we're just supposed to drive into town. There's, there is an anchor energy just right up the road here. So we should grab that. There's another one of them saw blade things. I hope it just keeps going in the same direction. And doesn't come over this way. Nuts. Yeah, stay away from me, man. Here we go. Yeehaw. Kind of hard on our vehicle, though, isn't it? Oh. Okay. No, 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 no. We'll stay away from that. I was going to get some gas, but maybe not. Not if this stuff's around. Okay, get the car close to the anomaly. 
I think this is a really bad idea. I'm just going to put that out there. I wish we had a third person view. closer to Cappy's core way up there. Can you find a way to high ground? Are you shitting me? Is this causing me... Is this hurting me? No, it doesn't appear to be. What is up with all these mannequins? It's just creepy as all hell. Alright, so there is a a bridge or an overpass or something up there. Let's go this way. What's the matter? I don't know what that beat means. Oh, I think it's something about the terrain. Okay, so I guess it, they want us to go find a way to get up there. Hmm, let's look at the map here for a second. It looks to me like... If we go this way, then that's probably the, the road there. Look at all the houses here. That's crazy. Okay. So we need to turn around and go this direction. See, I don't know. Can we get over there, though? I'm not exactly sure what that... Oh, yeah, it's just steep terrain. That's what it means. Okay, we got a road here. A very bright light. Hey, can we use our... Uh, can we use our vacuum cleaner thingy on that light? Oh, you know what? It's not... Yeah, it's not highlighted, so probably not on that light. Yeah, I am aware of the condition of my car, but... I'm not so sure that this is the best place to stop and try and repair it. Let's go up this way. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to drive out over this bridge. Are still not close enough to Cappy. What now? How about uh, uh, launching the car into Cappy's car? What? I, 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 I'm sorry. What? <laughs> yeah. No, it's simple. The driver jumps the car into the heart of the anomaly, and if I time it right, I'll open the gateway and extract them. And if you don't? I've run some calculations. I think it should be fine. <laughs> anyway, it's like they always say what's an experiment without some risk of total annihilation? Oh my god. <laughs> Who says that exactly? <laughs> In no way, shape, or form should we be doing this. Well, but you know, if it's the only way, uh, you got this kit for it. Okay, floor it like through here though? Wait a second. Mm, I don't know. Are, I thought I noticed this being kind of like a little bit of a ramp or something over there. We can't go through this way. There's a lot of stuff we could explore and loot around here, but I want to kind of stay focused on the quest right now. Can we go through here? All right, hold on a second. Um, let me look at this again. Open the barricade from... The oh, 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 okay. Sorry, I should be paying attention. Open the barricade from the control tower to access the bridge. Launch... Okay. Yeah, I'm glad I checked that out before we took off, because then I'd be wandering around for a million years not knowing what the hell to do. Okay. Let's 
so this must be the control tower. Okay, that closed the barricades. I wonder if we should touch up the car just a little bit before we do this because, uh, yeah, probably not a bad idea. Let's do that. Our tire's in pretty good shape. Uh, we do have a crack in the back window here. Ah, uh, oh shit, we didn't bring any... Uh, I should have made a, um, a sealer thingy before we left. I could go loot some stuff, I guess, but I don't know. I, I think we're in pretty good shape overall. Let's just... Let's just move on. Okay. Here goes nothing. systems. Thought I lost you for a moment. Well, it all worked out, didn't it? The gateway got you out, and it looks like the ARC device is still intact with all the data it's recorded from your drive. And my plan worked. Cappy amplified the car's signal, and it matches. Looks like Tobias and Francis found their remnant after all. Unfortunately, what they've been saying is true. The remnants drive their victims mad. Maybe that car, having sat dormant for this long, will give you a little more time. Sorry, I don't have better news for you. I'm still game to get you out of here. The faster you leave, the longer you'll have to enjoy the rest of your sanity. No. Ah, none of the routes you've mapped so far leads to a way out. Why don't you head back out and chart some more? You can get in touch with Tobias and Francis while you're out there. Explore the zone. Okay. <laughs> So I think that's um, our cue to go off and do our own thing for a while, uh, separate from the the quest. You have anything good for us? Okay. Cool. All right, guys. Well, um. <laughs> It's kind of messed up, isn't it? Uh, we're going to have some work to do on the car. So here's what I think we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. And um, I'm probably going to spend a little bit of off-camera time um, just, you know, gathering some resources and maybe doing, you know, some more of this stuff, at least the, you know, the basic entry-level stuff. Like, for example, uh, maybe some more of these side racks and getting, well, I guess we can't do this side storage we've unlocked that so okay i i get it so what we have to do is we have to make the racks and then we make the storage to go on the racks so i'll probably work on some of this real basic stuff i won't do anything you know that's um super new that we haven't really seen yet but uh you know just do spend some time doing some salvaging get the car fixed up of course and you know maybe try and get some more of these side racks and things on it with more storage and then uh i'll bring you guys back in the next episode and we will uh, continue having fun in this very crazy but also very fun game so thanks everybody for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch you all in the next episode Bye bye